timbre is the combination of qualities of a sound that distinguishes it from other sounds of the same pitch and volume. If melody is the essence of music, timbre is the essence of synthesis. Explore with me some of the many ways to bring your synth timbres to life. Welcome to Harmonic Animation. Hello, and welcome to this introduction to what I call Harmonic Animation. This video series will explore the use of synthesis techniques to animate the relative volumes of individual harmonics or overtones from a sound source such as a voltage-controlled oscillator, a VCO. So what are harmonics and why would we want to animate them? When we hear a single note from a sound source, the pitch we identify is the pitch of the fundamental frequency. For an A440, that fundamental frequency is 440 hertz. This is the first harmonic. If the sound source is producing a pure sine wave, there are no additional harmonics. Let's listen to the sine wave. It's a very pure tone and it has only the fundamental frequency, no overtones. More complex waves have additional overtones that combine to make the sound or timbre. A sawtooth wave contains overtones, harmonics, which are integer multiples of the fundamental frequency. If our fundamental frequency is 100 hertz, then the second harmonic is twice the frequency of the fundamental or 200 hertz. The third harmonic three times 300 hertz. You get the drift. Let's listen to a sawtooth wave. You can see that it's very bright and it's full of harmonics and overtones. This series will show ways to change the volumes of the component harmonics of the sound source such as a VCO. Let's look at two of these methods. In subtractive synthesis, a mini Moog, an ARP 2600, the most typical method of changing the mix of harmonics is with a filter. If we decrease the filter cutoff, we're going to decrease the harmonics that we hear. Let's listen to that. So let's go back to our sawtooth wave and reduce the cutoff frequency. You can hear it getting duller and brighter. Now, if we increase the resonance or emphasis, we accentuate the harmonics around that cutoff frequency. If we do a filter sweep with a high resonance setting, it's easy to hear the individual harmonics. So we're going to turn up the resonance, turn down the cutoff frequency, bring back our sawtooth wave, and listen as you can hear the individual harmonics. Fundamental. So, what are some other ways of changing the mix of harmonics? We'll start with a pulse wave. A square wave is a pulse wave with a 50% duty cycle. The voltage is high for 50% of the time, or one half of the period of the pulse. Note the one half, one over two. In the square wave, the second harmonic is missing or very low in volume. In fact, a 50% duty cycle pulse wave, a square wave, has all of the even harmonics missing or diminished, the second, the fourth, the sixth. Let's listen to what that sounds like. It's got a very hollow sound to it. Interestingly, if we make the pulse duty cycle one-third of the period instead of one-half, every third harmonic will be missing or diminished. For a quarter pulse, you guessed it, every fourth harmonic is missing and so forth. Knowing this, Let's listen to what happens when we control the pulse width with a low frequency oscillator, an LFO. 
Here's the pulse width modulation that electronically changes this pulse width knob. And you can hear the harmonics fading in, in and out as the width of the pulse changes. What we're hearing is another example of harmonic animation. So in this series, we'll be looking at different control voltage inputs in addition to filter, cutoff, and pulse width modulation. We'll also be looking at a variety of controllers to generate the control voltages that are animating the harmonics. Along the way, we'll make it musical. Thanks for watching.